Let's get started by actually understanding what's involved in a kingpin or a, a swivel pin. All right, this is a beam axle with a stub axle, and you can see the play that's uh, generated on this by lifting this up and down. The bottom bearing has collapsed, and this is giving us a space so it actually can be lifted. There's very little sideward movement, but the lift is still an MOT failure. When we uh, test for lift on a Land Rover, for instance, what we'll find usually that the top bearing might have collapsed or the bottom has, and this will be a lot more sideward movement. So what you could actually say here is there's a lot of play in the top bearing. You can see that movement, unlike this, which is just mainly lift. This assembly is fairly common on an HGV or uh, older vans with a beam axle. With the stub axle removed on our housing here for Land Rovers, we have a CV joint inside. Now this is a difference because Land Rover has a live axle, which means that you have to run the half shaft through with a CV joint to be able to get power to your hub and turn your wheels. The beam axle has a pin that runs right the way through the center. And on live axles, we can't do this for the reasons I've already explained. So instead what you have is pins and in this case is the bottom pin with a bearing and you can see the bearing race there that is what most of the load bearing is and on the other side you have a top pin which goes in the railco bush here the TD5 Defender axles have a roller or taper roller bearing at the top instead of railco bush and it also has a bearing race so this is actually a different design same principle however we need shims to be able to space the pins just like what we would have on this stub axle on the beam okay so we have selective washers here and what they do is take up the space so you don't get the lift however you need it smooth so there's no lift and it will turn without any resistance whatsoever just like this on the bottom there is a bearing which has been replaced going back to our swivel housing we have a pin which is your top pin okay like this this is the discovery range rover and the defender the early defenders and on the bottom is your bottom pin okay so that allows you to have a cv joint in that housing you also have compound angles on the beam axle or your swivel pins which will be the same on your land rover caster and camber the camber angle is very clearly seen here and the caster angle we will cover in more depth when we do a suspension lift tutorial. Every steering axle, especially beam axles, will have a fixed king pin inclination. Alright, so with this, the only real hassle is to actually set up the lift on the bearing. Okay, so there's a thrust bearing in the bottom there. And what we do, fitting the top pin, is we're going to use shims to make sure there isn't any lift. If the components, the bearings are in good condition, that is all you have to worry about. And the shim might take a little bit of time to set up, but once it's done, what you're looking for is little to no resistance. Unfortunately, this actually needs more shims to lift the pin away from the thrust bearing on the Royal Co. Bush. And you'll learn how to do that in this series, so watch on.